If you're going to cast metal into a mold, you need to know exactly how much metal fits because you can't slowly tip metal in until it's the correct depth because if you do that you'll have what they call hesitation marks on the metal and when you go to roll it out it'll crack at those spots. So when you're casting you need a nice steady flow. So you need to know, if you have the exact weight, then you melt it, pour it in, you're done. Uh, if you don't have the exact weight, it's always a problem. Now, figuring the weight is easy. Basic math to figure the volume of a cylinder it's pi times the radius squared times the length. Now, if you do those measurements in millimeters, you multiply that together, you end up with cubic millimeters. Shift the decimal point three to the left. That will give you cubic centimeters. And this is where your specific gravity of your metal comes in. A cubic centimeter of silver is 10.4 grams. The specific gravity of silver is 10.4. Specific gravity of water is one. That means one cubic centimeter of water weighs one gram. So when, once you get that figured out, brass 8.8, 8.8 8 grams per cubic centimeter. So as, as you can tell the different weights of the metal the same volume of different metals will be radically different. So you need to know the metal and you need to know the volume. Now figuring the volume of a square or a rectangle is quite easy because it's just the length times the width times the height. Once again, if you do that in millimeters, multiply length times the width times the height, shift the decimal point three to the left, take that figure and multiply by the specific gravity of your metal. I usually use sterling, which is 10.4, so it's, it's easy to figure. Okay. Now when you're doing lost wax casting, you need to know the weight of the metal that you're using. So really you need to know the weight of the wax. When you start, you always weigh the base. If you're in a school situation, you always get a different base so you never know. If you're at home, you can weigh the base. And if you engrave that weight on your base, then you never have to do that again. But you need to know the weight of the base because as you make your tree and you add the wax, when you're finished, you weigh the whole thing again. And that if you subtract the two, that will give you the weight of the wax. Or you can just pop this thing off the bottom, weigh your wax and melt that back on. Now, wax is the same specific gravity of water, which is one. So when you get the difference in weight between the base and the wax, or just the weight of the wax, multiply that figure by whatever specific gravity of metal you're using. Silver is 10.4. Uh, 18 karat gold is 15. Platinum is 22. At if you have the exact figure, which will be that from there to there, add another 20 grams for the sprue base, because when you cast this, extra metal in the bottom just means that it'll push more and give you a better casting. Now, while we're figuring weight, if you don't know what something is, or if it's something that's super light, like a piece of wood 
or a piece of foam plastic, say, uh, you could roughly measure the volume by taking the measurements and multiplying length times width times the height. Or what you can do is the old displacement method where you have a, a clear beaker, you mark where the water is, you put your material in, and you mark the new line where the water has gone up to. Then start dropping your metal in, and when it gets up to the new line, that's the volume of metal that you need. Uh, it's kind of a rough way to do it, but it's very accurate because all we're going for is volume. And like I've said, with specific gravity, like aluminium is quite a low number, so the same volume of aluminium will be ridiculously lighter than the same volume of silver. So you always need to know the volume of what you're casting.